piggy with that. Hey, walk in that bit with that Louis V. She said she wish it was true. What's up, Carrie Gang? Carrie Walker family. I am back with another YouTube video. As you guys can see from the title, it is our senior year. Class of 2022 is our senior year. I am back with a senior clothing haul, okay? Back to school clothing haul, senior edition. I am super excited for this clothing haul. I bought a whole bunch of stuff just because, like, let's get a little bit of background. I know you guys hate long intros, but I feel like we should. So last year, obviously, during the pandemic, um yeah um i did a clothing haul yet it wasn't really like much to show just because i didn't really splurge back to school last year just because we were online school for like half of the school year well like i'm gonna say like a quarter of the school year so i didn't really feel like i needed to and yeah um so i feel like really me this year it's splurging for my junior self and my senior self combined into one um i'll leave all of my old back to school clothing hauls because now there's going to be four so we have freshman year which went viral so go watch it i mean i feel like it'll be cringy because of like 2021 standards of aesthetics but go watch it you know you can see how i evolved as a person i did soft, um freshman sophomore and junior and now here we are senior year um so yeah before i get into the video don't forget to follow all of my social medias they'll be in the description box down below don't forget to comment hashtag character and get shout out in my next video today's video shout out because these people right here so yeah if you guys want a video, shout out in my next video. Don't forget to comment hashtag Kagan. Let's get into the video. So that I'm just going to go in a row with shoes first and I'll get into clothes just because it is a try on haul. Did I forget to mention it is a try on haul? So, you know, we're going to be sweating, but it's okay because who does a clothing haul and don't try it on? You know what I mean? So we're going to start off with shoes. Okay, so here are the first pair of shoes. They're just the Jordan 1 Retro High OGs, the white, black, electro, orange. I am so happy that I finally got these shoes. I've been obsessed with them ever since I saw that Nike was going to drop them. And I'm not a sneakerhead or anything. I do not claim those words. I'm just a person, like, if I see something that I like, I'm going to get it. Um, and I worked really hard for this. I just got them from Flight Club. And, yeah, I'm really excited that they're happy. I'm happy that they came. So let me just show you guys the shoes. And no way, shape, or form am I trying to brag because... If you guys seen my old my old hauls, you can see where I came from. Like, I am not the type of person to just, you know, drop a bank on some shoes. No, I'm not. Because every opportunity up until now, my parents paid for my, my clothes. Except for, like, my junior year, I'll say. Um, but, yeah, like, YouTube and stuff will buy me things. But for the most part, it'll be my parents. I'm forever blessed for that. But, yeah, let's just get into the shoes. They're cute. I'm so happy that I got them. So these are how they look like. This is just the left shoe because it's the one that I actually laced up. So yeah, they're so nice, so good. And my sister actually taught me a hack to keep that brown thing in here to stop them from creasing. Because when I was trying them on, they accidentally creased. Um, so here's the other shoe. It just comes like this, like you can lace them yourself. And the color laces that you get other than black would be white and orange so yeah i think i'm just gonna stick to the black just because i feel like i like them better tag i said i got it from flight clothes so anybody want to check me but if you actually read it it says when you take it off it doesn't count but it's okay like you know mm. these are these shoes this are actually gonna be my back to school fit because i already know i can already feel it i can already see it so yeah these are those um the next one is every pair of shoes that they mama daddy um son got it's just um plain basic white air force one you know nothing too much to say about these it's a classic white shoe can't go wrong these are like the white vans of nikes you know what i mean so yeah cute 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 they're super crisp super clean okay so these are these shoes the next pair of shoes i feel like are a little bit out of my comfort zone especially for being like living in florida i don't really see a lot of people wear these shoes just because it's like they kind of give me like people that live up north vibe i don't know that's just me but they're the um the run star hike um black gum and white shoes i guess that's what they're called i don't know but they are so cute i fell in love with them and here they are i love the gum bottom and how platform they are 
So here's that. They look so nice. I fell in love with these shoes like for a longest time. I've been liking them and I finally got them. These will look so cute with just like some straight leg pants. Like something that doesn't really show the um the legs too much, especially me because I got some skinny legs. Um so yeah, they're just cute. I like it. I vibe with these shoes a lot. 10 out of 10. Um, yeah. Okay, so these are all that I got for shoes. I am so happy that I got these. Um, if anything, the only thing that I'm missing that I wanted this year are some blazers because they've been super trending. Can't find none anywhere. Seeing them all over TikTok, so I kind of knew that people were going to rage over them because you already know how people are. Um, but yeah, I want the green ones though. Not the black and white ones. Here's the clothes, you guys. I bought like 32 items from Shein, so we got a lot. Okay, so just to digest through the overload of clothes, I'm just going to start off with the accessories because I barely wear accessories and I really want to get more into them. So first things first, we got these cute rings. I'm going to put them um, sort of like the picture of how they look on their website. They're so cute. They're like these just these different um, cool colors i don't know now i don't really wear color i'm more of a silver or gold jewelry person more of a gold um but yeah those are real cute got these um earrings here let me take them out the package look like gold melting that's the vibe that i get from them so i really wanted them and they look really cute like obviously they're fake so we're gonna have to paint over some clear nail polish but it's okay it's okay that's the vibe okay so here are some small hoops i really wanted to get into hoops in middle school i used to be obsessed with hoops so here we are going back to middle school me i really love that cheetah print one so yeah we're going back to we're bringing back cheetah print and i really love these earrings the next couple um these two are just socks you know uh just because i want to get better with my i guess you could say sock game but these are more neutral tones so here they are you just have black this cool green this cool peach this cool purple white mustard and then boom this blue um just some simple cool tone socks and they have like ruffles on the top of them uh next one are what i like to call church socks because it gives me very much nostalgia for my um childhood so here they are just some black and white pair so I'm not going to try these on just because you can kind of see how they look on the website. So you can't really go wrong with socks and accessories. Just like, yeah. Okay, so that's the accessories I got for this year. Um, Now onto the clothes. Finally onto the clothes. 11, 12 minutes recording in, we're onto the clothes now. Because I've been talking too much. Okay, so boom, here we are. So here's the first. It's just a cool tone flannel so i'm going to be using this as a throw over i got this in a size small uh, which is a us4 it's really cute i really love the the dad vibe i'm kind of getting from it but yeah i like it super cute i never had like a flannel this color and the material is pretty good not too see-through and yeah it feels like a good quality flannel so good job Shane. good job like not gonna lie they snapped the next one i'm so excited because i always wanted like a pair of um i guess you can say straight legged or mom jean type of pants and i finally got them and i found them on shein and these are really high quality like they feel like jeans okay so here are the jeans obviously you can't really see um much of the fit but hey they're uh 27 which is a us4 just for the length so i can get a little bit of that baggy vibe you know what i'm saying and it's a light wash they're super cute i don't have anything like this in my closet so this was a must they're also super high waisted and they come with these little buttons the only thing like a con i have to this is just that i kind of wish that i low-key probably went with the 26 instead of a 27 but i feel like it's fine because i can grow into them when i get older and yeah i mean you can't go wrong with these pants like these are the type of pants that would like always last you know and they also have this little um distressed look on the bottom of the pants which is pretty cute not that i'm lying here is a corridor i think that's how you pronounce it i'm not really sure but yeah that's the quality of the pants i got this in a size um small so let me show you i really love the fit of these and just like look into the detailing of the pant like the texture it has 
it's so cute and they're kind of like bell bottom type it feels so awkward like showing um pants and hauls without like really knowing how it's gonna look when i'm editing but yeah here they are they're really cute i don't have a pants this color and i don't have anything of this style in my closet For some reason i had an obsession with buying pants so here is like the same texture as the other pants. These are just a straight leg corridor um, quality chocolate pant, I will say, in a size small. Um, they have that same texture as um, the last one. It's not this bright brown. It's like this brown. You know what I mean? Like, because of ring light. And they're just straight legged or whatever. And they're so good. Like, at first, looking at it, I was like, these are going to look like high waters. But no. Um, they cut off at a right angle that looks so good with like some high tops Can we get a snap of fingers for the fit moving on? I got this cute crop top Which is in a size medium and it just says eclipse and actually I thought it was gonna be um, a bit more brown But it looks more of like a burnt orange color, but I can't complain. It's pretty cute at first like on the website these two look like the same brown, but they're not but it's okay but yeah this is the shirt this has eclipsed and i got it in a medium just so it can go pretty far down my stomach and i feel like i should have went with the large just because you know i'm not trying to get dress code this year like freshman year all i did was get dress coded sophomore year all i did was worry about um freaking administrators junior year i did not care because administrators didn't care but now senior year i'm just like you know what I don't I'm just gonna follow dress code like it got to the point I'm like you know what let me just conform to society because it's a heartache of this worry okay it's putting a worry on my on my chest it's putting a worry on my chest every time I walk past administrators okay um so if you guys saw my back to school clothing haul last year you probably didn't um if so go check it out but i got um the same exact white top just because for one it's a really good quality shirt and um for two um it got really dirty and i just it was just like it got to the point where every time i kept on washing it it just got another shade of cream it was not giving white so i just um repurchased it and it's just another white um Top like so and it's really cute I love this top I do not know why I mistreated it last year but last year we was going through some things here's another t-shirt I'm actually going to crop it because I feel like it'll look way better cropped but it just says four wheels move the body two wheels I don't know I don't know what it says but I just love the chocolate brown and I just like you know the look of it um but I'm definitely going to crop it I don't have a lot of chocolate I guess you can say teas in my closet so this is something different I really wanted to expand my um wardrobe especially since I'm like a senior now and not only that but we're about to be in college like you think in college I'm gonna have money to spend on clothes no so this is for college as well okay so this I am so excited because this is gonna be part of my back to school fit um I'm so excited for you guys to see it just this oversized um jaqueta jean jacket it's just black and i really love the denim the denim i feel like the denim in shein has gotten way better like the quality just feels so good um but i feel like low-key if i was to wash this it might get ashy but i got this in the small and it's really oversized um i low-key wished i got an extra small but i mean i can grow into it not a big deal i can grow into it okay um so yeah here it goes this is an oversized black jean jacket and it is really heavy like it feels like heavy jean material so the next thing i got were just these booty cut high-waisted shorts and yes i did get them because i feel like i'm the only person in florida who doesn't own booty cut shorts get it on them yeah i just get it on them i'm just playing you guys but yeah i can't wear this at school but i just got it because it's something i always wanted you know let me be rebellious let me shake my on the yacht to buy. Here is just a brown um, high crew neck top. The only thing I don't like about it, well, this is not brown, this is actually tan. The only thing I don't like about it, actually, it's coming off peach on camera, but it's actually tan. The only thing I don't like about it is the material, kind of gives me dry fit. Now, I wish it was like an actual rib t shirt, it's not. It's like a dry fit material, which I don't like because. You cannot, you have to low key wear a bra on this if you care about people looking at your nipples. But if you don't, then free the nips, don't care. But yeah. Here's the exact same of that top, but in pink, and it's worse in pink. And yeah, 
I think I'm just gonna stay away from it because after this like it's such a pretty color pink is such a pretty color yet this shirt ruined it for me um just because like I mean it's thin like who's gonna wear this with the other top but we're gonna make it work this top this is one of my favorite tops that I ordered just because it surprised me girl Here's the top, it looks so good. It reminds me of all like the three flavors, chocolate, vanilla ice cream, and you know, caramel or whatever that other flavor is. Um, but yeah, so cute. Obviously, if you guys are on the interwebs, this is kind of trending right now. So, had to hop on trend. Trying to get more into my girly side, even though I bought like a whole pair of jeans, don't care. But it's just this high-waisted schoolgirl pleated skirt. I don't know it looks so cute um i do not know how i'm going to style this how i'm going to wear it i do not know if i feel comfortable enough with wearing this at school maybe like outside of school festivities but i don't know i just really like it it's cute i got this in a small most definitely i did yep i did um so yeah i don't know it just gives me that vibe like I don't know, like, I feel like I can dress it up just to down, look cute, whatever, you know, schoolgirl vibe. So, if you guys, like I said, been on to the interwebs, this has been a trend, most definitely it has, and it's just this, like, chocolate swirl shirt top, I don't know. At first hand, looking at it, I'm like, ain't no way this gonna fit me, but it actually does, I really like it, it's so cute, um, I definitely could wear it with, um, those chocolate pants I have bought earlier. And you know style it up style it down however I want however I please so this is just a shirt it just says New York and it's oversized a little bit not too much um and I got it in a small it looks so cute you can definitely dress this up but I can see myself wearing this with some biker shorts Air Force Ones calling it a day you know or we can style it up t fashion style if I wanted to um basic you know whatever I mean these are like one of those days when I want to kind of look put together but they want to put effort into my outfit you know what i mean como se dice okay, yeah next thing we have this graphic shirt it's so cute so here it is um i'm not really sure what it says the only con i have to this is kind of you can tell like in the material that it's um pressed that makes sense like they press the printing or like the design on it which like you can't probably see on camera but it's kind of shiny which doesn't happen to the other shirts that i have that are um graphic so I was like this one you can't tell like it's printed like it's almost like as if it's in the fabric but with that one it just looks like it's like a sticker all right so I wanted to act like I did not live in Florida for once so I got this um shirt and it just says this word on it it says San Francisco California and then on the sleeves here we have purple and we have tan with this like a green like I don't know it's just cute to me could definitely dress it up dress it down the material isn't too heavy itself which i'm happy because i'm like um most definitely i'm not only going to be wearing this in winter like i would definitely be wearing this in the summer don't care don't care it's a skill most floridians have it's wearing a long sleeve or a hoodie or whatever in 100 degree weather all right so this is also part of my back to school outfit so just just imagine it okay so here is the shirt it just says um pursuers i don't really know what it says um on this but there's an american this is an eagle or uh owl it said make yours i don't know i look like she and just be putting a whole bunch of words together on a shirt and it's like look at the design not the words look at the design not the words i feel like that's what she and does um but yeah it's cute and it's super cropped and i actually got this in the medium and it's still sitting above belly button ha so I look at I got a large just because like I said earlier, I don't want to get a heart attack every time I pass by administration because of my dress code. Like we don't want to do that. So the next thing, if you guys had saw that white top I got, I just got a minted muted green version of that. It's like my whole, okay, so here you go. It's like a muted blue actually. It's like a blue and green color mixed together. I like it. I just love the fit of this halter top. Like that's why I had to get a second color because I felt so sad that I had to repurchase the white one. But I mean, I was like, let me just add this. Like it's super cute and expensive, whatever. Um, and it's good for the economy. Here are some white jeans. I don't have a pair of white jeans currently. Last time I bought a pair of white jeans were like freshman year and I no longer wear a size double zero, obviously. So here we are. They are just some white bell bottoms. And I really like that seam that goes down through the middle. Um, you can't really tell while I'm showing it, 
but oh yeah, it's too cute. So that seam down the middle makes it really nice, and I love how it's um, bell bottom. So yeah, a little up in style game if I do not save myself. So I want it to be basic again, you know, kind of give an insight to my freshman year self and buy something yellow. I was so obsessed with yellow, but here it is. It's just another halter top with um, I hope these are called halter tops. And then I see that in your home clothes next year. Um, and you can just tie up the sides and stuff a little something 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 to put with my yellow vans because I don't wear them anymore here this is also part of the back to school fit so just imagine everything that I said was going to be back to school fit and putting in your mind um, so here it is another black pleated skirt boom boom schoolgirl skirt coming in the clutch okay um, these are um, a little bit shorter past the fingertips not gonna lie um, but that is what you expect when you're taller than average. So, yeah. I might have a heart attack walking past administration on the first day of school. The last, oh, two more items. So, here is the next item. I'm definitely going to, going to be wearing this in the winter. Just because it's such a thick material. And I've, it says best day ever. And the only con I have to this is, um, is you, if you can see, it kind of looks like when they were imprinting the stitching. It's like... Why can you see when they connect? Like, cursive? you know, like this is not cursive. This is not calligraphy. Like, what the heck? I don't want to like cut it and then the whole wording just come off. So I'm gonna just mind my business because I feel like I should mind my business. All right, you guys. So that's the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, this was just my back to school clothing haul. Um, low key, I felt like it should just be named Shein haul. But it's okay. Don't forget to follow all of my social medias. They'll be in the description box down below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Share this to your homie going to freshman year. Share this to your homie going to sophomore year. Share this to your homie who's going to the junior year. And obviously, share this with your homie who's going into their senior year. Period. You know? How are you going to say Black Lives Matter but not share my video? Kind of giving me colorist vibes. Not going to lie. Insert a Bible verse to start off week. And I'll free with the occasion. Get your past. Get your way. Hope you guys enjoy that Bible verse. Peace, your girls out.